welcome to another episode. In today's episode, we are in the kitchen and we are going to be making s'mores. However, guys, it's not normal s'mores. I have three really cool recipes for different kinds of s'mores that you can make and they're so fun, guys. So I'm gonna scooch down right here and above me there in that space, you will see the kind of s'mores we're gonna be making. So the first one is the easiest and we call it s'mores trail mix. And the ingredients are right here behind me for all of these recipes and we'll go through that in just a minute. The second recipe is a little more complex and it is bear faces. Ha <laughs> ha, aren't they cute? Yeah, I just think they're so adorable. And the third one, you will need your parents' help because it involves using the stove, is uh, yeah, we're gonna be making like kebab things or uh, pops, you know cake pops? Well, these are gonna be s'mores pops, ha <laughs> ha. So anyway guys, let's get started. I'm gonna let mom take it away. All right guys, so the first one that we're gonna be making is really pretty simple and you could probably do it on your own, um, but I would encourage getting your parents help in the kitchen with anything dealing with cooking, cutting, knives, anything like that, just to be on the safe side. So the first thing we're gonna be doing, like Lammy mentioned, is the s'mores trail mix, which is really cool. So basically it's the ingredients of a s'mores except they're gonna be inside a little baggie, just like this. So that'll be the first thing you need. So I set some of the ingredients that we had here to the back because those are for the different recipes. This particular one, you're just gonna need three ingredients. You're going to need Teddy Grahams, or if you can't find Teddy Grahams in your store, you're gonna to need to find little pieces of uh, graham cracker, or you could take a big graham cracker and just crunch it up into little pieces, little bite-sized pieces. So you need your baggie, and then you need to open the Teddy Grahams. Isn't this cute how they've got this bear? All right, let me open this, I'll be right back. All right guys, so I opened the Teddy Grahams, and Teddy Grahams basically just look like little teddy bears. See, they just look like little teddy bears. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to take your baggie and open it up, and you're gonna pour in some of the Teddy Grahams, however many you want. Um, if this is for school, you could probably just get a little baggie of it. So we're gonna do about that many. So there is the Teddy Grahams. Then you're gonna be taking miniature marshmallows. It's the small ones, and you're gonna pour those in there. And then you're gonna be taking um, chocolate chips. They can be semi-sweet, milk chocolate, anything like that. We have milk chocolate chips here because when you make a s'more, you usually do it with milk chocolate. So to keep with the flavor, we're gonna be pouring in some of those. And then you just zip up the bag, and then shake it around so it mixes together and there you have your s'mores trail mix so you'll just pop those pieces in your mouth it won't be warm and the marshmallows won't be gooey like a uh, s'mores but the flavor will still be there so that's the first thing the easiest thing so the second recipe like Lammy mentioned is going to be the bear faces so basically you break this in half so you're only going to be using one of these I'm going to put this one in the back here so we're going to sit these together on the plate like this then what you're going to do is you're going to be taking taking some large marshmallows and you're gonna cut them in half. You could use scissors, you could use um, a knife, but just make sure that you're careful whatever you do. And you're gonna pop that right down here in the middle at the bottom. So it looks like that. Then you're gonna be taking your miniature marshmallows like this. You're gonna be cutting one of those in half like that. Remember, get your parents' help if you need to. And you're gonna be putting these up here in the corners. All right, so then we're gonna do that to the other one. So we've got, there we go, there we go. So basically what we're doing is we're making the bear face like you saw in that picture. Um, th these are for the mouth and these are the ears. Then you're gonna take your little milk chocolates and you're gonna place them right here. And that creates the nose of your little bear. Then you're gonna be taking more of them and putting them right there because that creates the eyes. See? That is so cool, Mom. Yep, I think so. It's adorable. And there you have it, guys. It is so simple. It is so easy. Now, another thing you could do with your parents' help is you could pop these in the microwave for like five seconds so that way they melt a little bit and you would have them nice and warm. But if you heat them too much, the chocolate would melt and it wouldn't look like eyes anymore. But that is the s'more bears. So finally, we have the very last recipe, which is the one you'll probably need your parents' help with because it does involve using the stove. So this one is the s'mores pops, is what we're going to call them. So you'll need large marshmallows, 
You'll need some of your chocolate chips that we're going to melt on the stove. And then you'll need um, crushed up graham crackers. So what that is, is that is just basically a graham cracker like this that we crushed up with our hands. Then you're also going to need some sticks. You can use those white popsicle type sticks that you can find at craft stores for like making chocolate pops and things or cake pops, or you can just use little wooden ones like we have here. So this one is a little more complicated. Definitely get your parents help, but let's get started on this one. All right, so we have our stove on, and what we're doing is we are melting these chocolate chips in a double boiler, and basically there's water inside that pot, and then this little pot sits on top, so that way the chocolate doesn't get burned. Now, if you don't have one of these, that's okay. You would just need to put your heat on very, very low and continuously stir the chocolate as it melts. So while this melts, let's go back over to the counter and prepare the rest of it. So as the chocolate's melting, I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to stick these pops into the top of one of the marshmallows. Just down there like that. So that way it's like a little pop. It's like a, it's on a stick. And I'm gonna do three of them. All right, so I have three of them ready to go and once the chocolate's done melting, I'll show you what to do next. All right guys, so as you can see, the chocolate is starting to melt. It's nice and heated, so we're just gonna stir this up like this. Make sure all the chunks are out and it's stirred really well so it's nice and smooth. And let's show you what to do next. All right guys, so we put a pad down and then we put the uh, pot on top of that because it is very hot. We're just gonna remove the spoon. And then what you do is you take these and you're going to dip them down into the chocolate. And then we have a little plate here to sit them on when they're done. So while the chocolate's still warm, you are going to roll your marshmallow down inside, all right, like this to get it coated, and then you're going to dip it into the graham crackers, and it creates like a little pop. See? So we're just going to let it sit like that. So then we're going to do that with all of these. Roll the chocolate around on the marshmallow till it's coated really well. You can put as little or as much chocolate as you want. Then we're going to dip them down in here, roll it around, and there you have another one. This is our last one. If you have any leftover chocolate, make as many as you can. Make sure you clean up your mess when you're done. Help your mom and dads out. All right, and then here we go, guys. That is your third one. So I'm gonna sit that right there like that. So let me move this out of the way and we'll have Lammy come take a look at them. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin. I love s'mores, guys, and this is so exciting. Have any of you made any of these recipes before? Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. And if you've made these before, do you guys like s'mores? I sure do. I don't even know which one to start with. They all look so delicious. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me for another video. Please be sure to subscribe. It's totally free, and I do have more videos coming. Also, be sure to follow me on all of my social media. Those links are in the description box below, guys. So yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you again next time. Oh my goodness, I just don't know which one to start with. I love s'mores. Haha. <laughs>